shit is freezing. It's very frosty this morning and my ute heater has not started yet. It's cold. What up farm? So uh, today we're out north, made it out to Onan. Dad towed the Tapari out this morning. I towed the air compressor trailer out. Dad's just going to get some sheep in and I'm going to finish setting this up. You can see it's on a bit of an angle. I just got to dig out some along here, get it sitting a bit more level and sort out some panels back there and have a look at setting up so that we can run a three-way draft or two ways at least anyway let's get into it Alright, so Dad got the second mob of sheep in, the first mob's in. Now, the sheep have ear, ear tags that are colour coded to what year they were born. So after shearing, we bo boxed them all up, well, virtually into two mobs, but just of varying ages. Um, and now, Dad, the master, is going to <laughs> draft them out. And the purple, green and the white ones are going out that side and all the rest are going straight through. <laughs> well, that's the plan anyway. Seems simple, but when a sheep's running at you really fast down a race with its head down, um, yeah, it's not very easy. So the young ones, or the green, purple, orange and white has ended up being the ones that came in here we put in the shed for a bit extra room. Now we're going to get the ones out there in the header paddock in and draft them the same way. The poor old Johnny Header. She hasn't seen a crop in... Uh, five years now she's a fair way off running again I'd say um, if you know of any good uses for an old header let me know down below at the moment I'm leaning towards turning it into a a uh, playground for Alex but anyway wait and see all right so we've got Chris the master drafter here he has just drafted off all of the really old ones from our older ewes. We're just about to run them through the tapari and check their teeth. So not only is he dra a drafter, he's also a dentist. Okay, let me turn it around. There you go. You can go, Pro. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. That's a sheep. Oh, 
Hey, are you having fun? <laughs> All right, so Chris has left. Uh, we had some lunch, and now we are. Oh, the air compressor's run out of fuel. So what I was saying before the compressor ran out of fuel is we're backlining the sheep out at Onan today. This is to stop any uh, sheep lice. Uh, it's a knockdown, so it'll kill any. It'll kill any that are there. Um, and it will also uh, have an, a residual effect as well, um, which will stop any new ones from coming for a while. Ugh. Got the gate, don't I? Um, yeah, we're doing them through the Tapari. Um, Farmer Chels is doing a good job. Alex and Papa are out here somewhere. They've gone off on the motorbike back that way to set up the gate. Um, yeah, it's turned into a lovely day and we're getting stuff done. In you go. In you go. Look at this farm girl do her job. <laughs> she's killing it. Not killing it. She's doing she's doing a good job. That's what I meant by killing it. Take Good job, mummy. Uh, Got them all done. Yes. The first lot. Got the first lot done. Mm. Another yeah. 500 to get. <laughs> 400. 400. <laughs> We're halfway. to 
Good job, Charles. They're all done. How's your hand feeling? <laughs> <laughs> Those trendy glasses. Look at that. So trendy. The sun's setting out there. It's a good day. Good day to get them all done. You're having a ride on the motorbike with Popper. That looks like fun. All right, we are heading home now. Um, that's enough for today. We got all the sheep out here back line and uh, sorted out. All the broken mouth ones will be heading off to sale next week, hopefully. Um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you liked it. And uh, leave a comment and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.